morning, people. So, Teddy Bear and I have come out to Egmont Bay to get sort of a little bit of quiet and safety away from people. I want to work on writing my next children's book, but another thing that I want to do is work on my to-do list. I think I've shown you I've been crossing off things every day. One of the big crazy projects that I'm here specifically to do, and it's going to take a couple of days and this video will take a while to make, but we're going to careen Wild Child layer on her side so we can do the bottom paint. And I know right away you're like, holy cow, this Wild Captain Lexi, she's so crazy. You're not wrong. Wild Child is a CNC 40. She's got an eight foot draft, so she is a big, big girl. And I'm not gonna lay it up on the beach because with an eight foot fin keel, there's no way that that's possible. But Wild Child likes to sail on her side with that eight foot fin keel and tall rig mast. She really does sail on her side. So it won't be that hard to lay her over. So I've been discussing this plan with Teddy Bear for a few weeks now. The paint that I used on Wild Child's bottom is called Island 44. Fantastic paint, love the stuff, it's amazing, it's done an amazing job. The only thing you get growing occasionally is barnacles, because in the tropics, like in the warm tropical lush waters, it's so full of growth, like the growth is unbelievable. And I've now had this Island 44 bottom paint on my hull for a year in the tropics, and Wild Child's hull still looks really good. I'll dive and show you video footage of that. The issue on my hull where I have the problem is the first foot of the waterline where it gets the most UV exposure to the sun and the wave action washing on your hull begins to wash away the paint. So I'm down to primer in that first foot in a couple of sections along the waterline. Everything further down that hasn't been washed by the wave action is fine and in good shape. It's unfortunate, but this is the reality. Um, boat yards down here in the Caribbean are here to keep rich people rich, and they don't really work with you, and they're very, very strict about costs. It will cost over a thousand US dollars just to lift Wild Child, let's say, for a day, or even for an afternoon, and put her back in to redo my bottom, which is more than the paint would cost, and the paint is very expensive. Wild Child's bottom is basically fine. I just have a one foot problem along the waterline. I don't have a thousand US dollars to pay some boat yard to lift it for a day just so I can slap some paint on there. So ever creative sailing captain that I am, we're gonna figure out a way to hang the dinghy with the spinnaker pole and lean Wild Child over to lift. Once we heal her over in this calm bay, we will lift and expose that one foot of bottom. I should be able to just swim along in my life jacket and just sort of paint it and just cover that one spot that kind of needs help. Yeah, Teddy and I have been talking it over and he does think I'm a little bit crazy for painting part of my bottom of my hull in the water and he's not so sure this will be successful. He thinks I'm nuts. Am I nuts? Yes, Lexi, you're nuts. But I'm going to give it a shot anyways and let's see how it goes. It doesn't hurt to try stuff and if you fail now you've learned a valuable lesson of what not to do next time. Let's give it a shot. Okie dokie, I've got my dive stuff and I got a camera I can take swimming with me. I wish I had crew that I could order overboard to do this for me, but I am alone on a boat and when you're alone on a boat, you do everything yourself. I'm going to take some video footage for you, I'm going to show you what the sides of the hull look like, I'm going to show you that mark along the water line that's gone foul that I need to, need, that I need to fix. Okay, see you in a bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
This bottom paint has been in tropical water for 13 months now, and I have not scraped the barnacles off my hull in six months. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, okie dokie. I just spent the last two hours in the water cleaning my hull, and I have to say, like, I've had that Island 44 in there for a tropical year. This is only the third time in a year that I've scraped off barnacles. It is in really good shape. Other than the water line, it's really good. But, uh, you know, diving upside down with my heart condition to scrape, oh, that almost put my lights out several times. So you saw I use the ropes, like I, I hang the ropes along the side so I can hook an arm, lock myself in and just let myself kind of pass out. And then hope that when I come to I'm still holding my snorkel. I only did that about 10 times, but not completely unconscious, just unable to move, but some amount of consciousness. But uh, the hull is clean now, so we get to check mark that off the to-do list. Time to strip naked and uh, have a shower. Wanna come? Good morning, teddy bear. Well, yesterday you saw that we've cleaned the hull, so it's sort of all ready to go. Today we're going to do the crazy thing. We're going to careen the ship. And usually that would mean run it up onto the beach and lay it on its side, but Wild Child has an eight foot draft and a gigantic fin keel, and there's no way that I can run this big girl up on the beach. Also, the tides here are very small. It's less than a foot up and down. It's really not enough tide to make a difference or make that possible. So I have a different idea in mind. We're gonna careen Wild Child using science. Why, Lexi, what a sexy looking pole you've got there. Whatever could you use it for? Okie dokie, the crane arm is set, so now we have a giant lever pole going up to the main halyard hanging down. And if we were to find some kind of heavy weight that we could hang from the main halyard, it would serve to tip the boat over or heel it on the side, which would then begin to lift the port side and expose that bit of water line. Now, I wonder where on Wild Child we could find a heavy weight that we could hang from the spinnaker pole to offset the, the weight of the mast to teal her over. Where is there a heavy weight on Wild Child? Hmm, let's think about it. And then we need to add a little bit of extra weight to the dinghy. because leverage is all about counterbalance. Now I wonder what would happen if we lifted that there dinghy on the end of that there spinnaker pole attached to a line at the top of the mast. What do you feel like is going to happen to the boat? And now the question is, is the angle of heel enough to tilt up the port side to give me access to the one foot of bottom so I can paint the water line? It 
does give me access to the area I want to paint. I know that this seems a little crazy, but I'm going to wear a life jacket upside down like a seat or a diaper, you could say. The idea is I want to have maximum floaty buoyancy without me having to do any like effort to keep myself and like well above the water surface. So by wearing a life jacket as like a diaper and then wearing another one up top, it will maintain my buoyancy in such a way that my hands are free to work and then I don't have to do anything to control my buoyancy or my location. It's not as good as having a second dinghy to work from because I am going to be working from in the water. Oh, I just believe my boobs are too big. With this configuration of upside down diaper life jacket and right side up life jacket, gives me the necessary buoyancy so my hands are free to paint while I'm working and my, my body is well up out of the water. I'm not working at neck height trying to paint above my head, but it should bring me up enough that I can work comfortably in front of me and paint at sort of chest level. We'll see how it works. It takes three days, but eventually, Lexi wins! Well, there we go! That was a lot of work. It took three days. It's a lot of steps and a lot of drying times in between. But for zero dollars, I got the job done. So you have to be impressed with Lexi and her brain, Lexi and her brain, Lexi and her brain, 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 Lexi and her brain, yeah, Lexi and her brain, yeah, Lexi and her brain, yeah.